They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to listen to our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we are on YouTube, One Word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips channel and our tiktok channel so if you want to take a look at the clips you like what you see go ahead and click on the links and then head to our channel and then go go ahead and take a, a peek at our uh, podcast jeff what's up man what's going on man you know um man i've been pretty excited it's like every year in december it's like, it's christmas right yeah mm -hmm. like I don't know. The timeline gifts us something pretty nice. All the time. Like to remember, put a bow on Remember where, what was it? Last year or two years ago when we were we wanted to escape this reality and be isekai into Oh bro. <laughs> a different, Not anymore. A different what? world. Not anymore. That's changed. Not anymore. Why has that changed, oh, Jeff? That's too interesting. Why has that changed? So before we get to that, like last year, uh huh. It was great, because uh, freaking even in December, we launched the James Webb Telescope. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And then after that, this year, you know, we send Orion, the Orion spacecraft around the moon. Of I course. think it returned. It splashed down. Yeah, it caught right a lot right of stuff, but, you know, yeah. they're not going to talk about it. Cause we, we, got, we got some 4K footage of the surface. We're not ready as humans. I think we're ready, dear. And you know why I say we're ready? Why? Because on December 5th. What happened December 5th? We mastered fusion. Who mastered fusion? The Empire. It's over for the rest of the world. That's it. We have the source. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. It's over. This is a. Uh, this is the Empire theme song. So every time we say the Empire, we press the button. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Let's test it out. The Empire. Uh, no one can beat us. Unstoppable. We are above all. <laughs> <laughs> we so stupid. Oh, I love it. Oh, uh, shit, I man. Love it's it. different, man. The Empire. Yep, yep. The Empire. I'm dead. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we're going to spam the shit out of that. We're going to spam the shit out of that. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> all right, I promise this is the last time unless we say that at the end oh, of the episode. Man. Dude, it's it's... Man, it's yeah, talk different. to me, man. Talk to me. What's going like, on? It's just different. It just changed my outlook on the future. So, what is the potential of it's actually limitless. getting a fusion it's reaction? It's limitless. Now that we've hit ignition, and that's the thing, because like we've been working to have full ignition for about sixty years. Yeah, sixty. Yeah, years. It's sixty years in the making, and. Even reaching equilibrium would have been an achievement in itself. Mm -hmm. But we got 50% more returns of energy than we put in. So that's way past equilibrium. Yeah. How many kilojoules can power a uh, city? Shit, I don't fucking know. Like, I would have to look up the specifics on that. Damn. But I do know it produced, it burned for, they sustained it for, I think, 20 seconds. Yeah. And it boiled, like... For 20 minutes. Yeah, boiled water. They boiled water with it. But it's like, that's on, like, such a small scale. Now that the science has been proven that, hey, we can achieve ignition, you exactly. know, fusion. Um, uh, now, we can hand that to the Department of Energy. Everybody. You know, everybody. everybody. And it's just like... Now we have like the private sector already going full throttle investing into this. Yeah, because when she came out and said that we officially mastered, well, not mastered, but officially ignited uh, uh, the fusion. We achieved the ignition. Yeah, we achieved ignition. The first thing you hear is all these private companies are already donating, mm -hmm. putting millions, pouring millions into it. Remember, I kept because, showing you all that. Yeah, because you they, know all those companies and stuff yeah. like that who kept claiming we will be the first to reach fusion. I'm yeah. like, no. No. The Empire will. 
The Empire. <laughs> the Empire will always beat you. Or give you the opportunity. Nothing, <laughs> nothing happens without no. them. But what's a what what like um, I'm gonna give you an example like for electric cars. What's the potential for electric cars? Because you know a lot oh, of people dude. a lot of people struggle with the fact that they have to wait twenty to thirty minutes just to this charge. Would, this could increase power output. You know, like we could have like higher currencies, like currency or frequencies of yeah. electricity coming through. You know, and like output more energy mm -hmm. that that our grid can sustain. And have like higher voltage, you know, outlets and shit like that. Plugs. Yeah. Like we can resurrect old um, uh, power stations, power plants. You and know, transform them and into fusion And transform them grids. into fusion plants. And, okay. Like you really don't understand. This is the holy grail. Limitless potential. And that's like, why. Do you understand that? That's well, the thing the too is. Grail. Like you know how everyone always says that. Star Trek predicts everything. Cell phones, communication, language barriers, uh, mm -hmm. space travel, wormholes, teleportation, all that stuff like that. And that's that's what it is. Because in every Star Trek ship, what is there? A fusion a engine fusion. Pe uh, uh, engine powered ship. Like, we're a long ways from having, like, of course, miniature. Of course. Right. But, like, just for me, mm -hmm. that revolutionizing energy production. Yeah. Like... The fact that we've achieved this, you can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that we figured it out. Yeah, because... Like, fuck all the alternatives, because mm -hmm. we figured it out. Yeah, because mm -hmm. now no more gas, so that's not going to fuck up our Earth. The Earth will have a chance like, to heal itself. Yeah, we can pair it with solar yeah. and hydro and stuff, but like that, that's it. That's the ticket. It's like... From going from 4G LTE to 5G. Bro, that's like going from horses to cars. <laughs> like horses build nations, like Neil deGrasse Tyson said. Yeah. For thousands of years. We use horses. Horses built help build nations. Mm -hmm. And then some guy was like, Yeah, combustible engine. Boom, car. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's just so crazy to me. And he also I, I watched uh, early on his podcast today, he also made a reference um to Back to the Future. Yeah. Where, oh, how he was. Yeah, how he he told Doc, "Hey, Professor, Doc, yeah, we're Doc. Uh, we're we're out of fuel," and he pulls out his portable fusion reactor and just starts dumping garbage in it because it can eat, because you can use anything, right? You could use raw <laughs> elements, and all you're doing is just heating heating it up into a plasma, and forcing uh, uh the 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 particles together to create heavier elements, and then like. The energy it releases, mm -hmm. heat or whatever, that's what powers X, Y, Z. But I'm pretty sure, like, in that, in, in his version, it's pulling the direct energy of the reaction. Of course, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rather than a heat byproduct. This is still the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's like steam engines. Exactly, exactly. You know what I'm it saying? It took a minute for them we, to get We built the engine, but we don't know how to completely harness its raw power and that's what they're going to be focusing on you know what i'm saying but right now it'll mostly everything all most of our electricity will probably be be steam powered mm -hmm. like that's how they will probably utilize nuclear fusion that's that's crazy to me, bro. i can't believe in my mind like even as a kid and i was watching documentaries yeah it's 40 years away like zero it's 40 cc's, years man. Away. zero cc's video like 40 years away and it's just like I don't know, man. It's, I don't know. They don't, hey. Hey, like you said, they were trying every solution. Even when you showed me the documentary where they were creating the carbon, mm -hmm. carbon fans just to turn the, the, the just to siphon the carbon in the Oh, air. the carbon capture. Yeah, the carbon capture. Like, they were trying to figure out every single way to help the earth, even though we're beyond that point, to, to, uh, to get us to a certain place that can but save our planet. But that's the thing. That's one less thing we have to worry exactly. about. Now. Exactly. So every little now project that, that we're working Now that we have on. a new energy source that's limitless, do you know why? Water. Hydrogen. It's everywhere. We have billions of gallons. gallons. We have oceans. 78% of it, man. Like, oceans. That's unlimited energy. Mm -hmm unlimited energy and it gives off no radioactive zero cc's bro like no radioactive no byproduct yeah. or anything and it's not even like oh it's gonna blow up if something disturbs the reaction it just stops damn yeah 
Like, if something just disturbs the reaction, uh-huh. it just stops. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not like a runaway train mm-hmm. of, you know, uh, 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 unstable uh, uh, particles mm-hmm. or isotopes just shredding each other to bits, creating an explosion. Exactly. You like he was saying? talking about nuclear blast. Right. You know, so, like, that's crazy. So, it's literally man. the safest, safest thing you Jeff, can do. Jeff, it's the holy grail. It's the power of the sun. Dang. In the palm of our hands. It's the power of the sun. In That's the amazing. palm of our hands. That's amazing. And you knew it was going to be a big announcement when the 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 when Department the, of Energy. Oh yeah, and Neil deGrasse Tyson is getting already on the news. Like they yeah. already, he already knew what was coming. He, he just couldn't knew say anything. What was coming, Jeff? I don't know, man. I don't know. And then you got that Chat GPT, Chat GPT. going crazy right now. Oh, okay. The yeah, chat. and then now they made that whole AI image uh, uh, more for public now. So now everyone has access to that. Everyone's feeding it facial data. But remember, you know, remember what like I told you. Um, it's like, um, like, like when we were discussing the other day about when the Xbox One came out, and they're saying all games digital. They came out too early, so they failed they were ahead of their because time. they were ahead of their time. And now everybody accepts it, because, and even a lot of people say it's better because oh, I transfer buy, buy a new console, mm-hmm. I can just upload, transfer transfer everything. everything without having to physically have a disc. And it's the same thing with the AI. It is out now, but look how they're introducing it. They they put it on TikTok. They 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 gamify it. They, they gamify they it. Commodify it. But what they don't yeah. understand, and then now you're seeing all these videos where where they're they're like oh let me input um let me input banana and then say banana was written by drake and then the ai will write an entire song about bananas or one <laughs> and ga- it's a coherent and song. a coherent song and, yeah. then, and then it'll it'll find a coherent beat to go yeah. with it and then it's the same thing with it's the same thing with um um another tiktoker was like how do I talk to girls? So he types that into the AI, and the AI tells him a couple of lines, and he's reading it, and he's like, oh, my God, these are actually good pickup lines. Wow. So it's like That's they nice. insert it. They <laughs> insert it. But you see what's happening. I though, think right? becoming, uh, uh, not the word. I don't think it's the word I'm looking for. Syntax, mm-hmm. like knowing how to input a search or like a prompt, a prompt or something like that. Yeah. Like a prop expert, like you know exactly how to. I don't know, man. All this is just because you know, like once that first domino falls, it's just like a runaway. It's a trickle down effect. It's it's a runaway. Yeah. Train. Route, it's a one. Right? Yeah. And but that's what I'm saying. So it's like AI because th- they know it's going to be difficult for people mm-hmm. to accept artificial intelligence mm-hmm. AI. So what are they doing? They're like you said, they're playfully putting it on TikTok because now the entire trend, yeah, yeah, games, apps. Now you can you can create a song, make a beat, all that stuff like that through the AI. And then when they roll it out officially, what is the government gonna say? You guys have been using it the whole time. This is just yeah, it's been here. It's just the bigger version of it, and it's like that's how you that's how you um, interject it into society. It's like. When we always theorize, oh, Jeff, what would happen if we took this Google Pixel 7 and brought it to 2001? <laughs> Burn him at the stake. Yep. He's, an alien. He's a witch or an alien. Exactly. People <laughs> would be like, this technology doesn't exist. Why is the... No, I think they'd be hyped. They'd be hyped, but they'd be like... You gotta understand. But like, they, they would think you're crazy. Oh, where are you from? Well, here's why, though. Like, as America, I feel like our imagination is... The empire. The empire, you know? Yeah. As the empire, like, our imagination is what allows us to achieve this. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? No, so, I like, agree. Even if we showed up back in time, they would be mind-blown, but it's like, oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You like, what? I don't know, because we... Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, at this point, we've already seen Back to the Future. We've had so many futuristic yep. movies. I haven't, yep. You see what I'm saying? So, you so kind of have like, a... Yeah. We've had 30 years to, like, prep ourselves for the future we predicted for ourselves. And, again, too, the same thing with the U, U, um, uh, UAPs. Word. Existed the whole time. But now they're slowly... Int- it's like they're slowly introducing humanity to all these mm-hmm. things. So when it does happen, oh, okay, we already knew about it. You yeah, see we what didn't I'm know about it. So it's like... Yep, it, it's, not, it's not like it caused blindsided or... Um, we're gonna act crazy, or why didn't the government tell us? That's crazy. There's... Okay, so mm, 
give us a timeline when you think they will miniaturize fusion reactors. Like, on some Tony Stark level shit. Like, like mm, I'd say, reactor. I'd say 2035. Really? Nah, that's... I'd say 2035. Really? Oh, you know, because every time I really want to give us that yeah. leeway... You want to give us that leeway, it keeps jumping yeah, exponentially. Yeah, like, it's exponential. Exponential. And, and that's what it is. That's... Like, like I, I don't know if you talked about this a couple of years back, but I remember you were saying something about the, the uh, fusion, achieving fusion. It's going to take... Where it's going to... You were, you were I kept saying, saying 40 years. 40 years. Yeah, You're saying 40, 40 years. years yeah. We're 40 years away from it. It happened now. And it happened December 5th, 2022. Because you were predicting 2045. That's crazy. You were predicting 2045, right? Mm-hmm. That's two That's two decades. That's what I was thinking. That's two decades. Because I thought Eater, uh-huh. Eater, that that big uh, reactor, that big tokamak that they're building in France, yeah. was going to really be the first uh, uh, machine powerful enough to sustain fusion. Yeah. But now that we just... We understand it now. Mm -hmm. Like, on a micro scale, it's just about scaling up. Exactly. And we have a lot of private companies who focus on specific things. And like you were saying with, especially with military applications, because they have Dark Horse, they want to get it manned. And then, of course, it's unlimited energy. So if you can get that. You don't even need fuel, bro. You don't even need fuel. And then you can go around the world. How fast? That's crazy. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So any imminent threat or danger, they can reach it within time. That's crazy. So, uh, of course, military applications are going to be part of it. And like you said, our $850 billion military thing is going to go to $1 trillion. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy to me. Bless you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. I don't know, like, now that this is here, because in my mind, like, I was like, okay, once that happens, it's just going to be a crazy domino effect of new things coming out. New things coming Over out. Note. But now that it's here, I'm like, man, yeah, wh- how, what can we do with this? A lot. And, but like, like you said, when I asked you that, what you say? how fast are we going to get there? I say 2030. You see what I'm saying? Like, now that AI is really kind of breaking out mm-hmm. there. And and we we're really starting to understand you know, the 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 machine learning mm-hmm. and the modeling and stuff, uh, behind that. Like, how do you apply that into the infrastructure side or developing or advancing fusion? Yeah. Or tweaking it, mm-hmm. like Neil said, you know, tweaking it, throttling it, getting more output, lowering it, like really controlling it. Yeah. Like being in full control. Of the uh, the the reaction that's taking place, mm-hmm. like literally playing with raw energy, just so they can see how far they can take it. That's crazy. There's so many applications for it. That's, that's crazy. the thing. So that's many crazy. applications for it. Like, what if this breaks open into a new realm of physics where you're manipulating the strong and weak nuclear forces within the plasma of, uh, it. of it, and then that's how you get anti gravity. And I'm just talking out my ass, bro. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. Has, but like, like you said, I don't even, I don't even think the 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 physics. <laughs> again, again, like you said, they need to test the water, so they're probably going to have a group of scientists that just mainly focuses on that. But they're going to have everybody else focus on creating a containment, so they can get it into um, applying it to everyday everyday life. Right. So I think they're just going to have a. a, 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 a but I think the first thing that you'll see mm-hmm. energy. The cost of energy. Of course, yeah, because electricity is getting expensive, and even with energy. even even with solar, it's it it doesn't even help that much yeah. because the more you give back to the grid, then they raise the bills. But up. that's the thing, like, who needs to give back to the grid? All you need to worry about now. Now we can focus on batteries. That's now true. we can focus on storage, mm-hmm. advancing batteries. The million mile battery, like you know what they've I'm always been talking about, like solid state or you know quantum diamond batteries or something like that uh nanocarbon batteries mm-hmm. something like that you know like we can really now focus now that we've solved energy mm-hmm. do you understand that yeah that's it that's the building block energy who gave it to us jeff what's his name thanks mr einstein there you go thank you mr einstein the magic equation e equals mc square thank you mr einstein but yeah like now that we have that solved, mm-hmm. that's one thing off of our plate. That's true. 
because our source of energy gave humanity a timeline before we self extinct our ourselves. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And now we have an opportunity to save ourselves. And now we have an opportunity to just be like, bam, we solved energy. Now it's time to apply it to everything. Now it's time to focus on everything else. What will this energy give us now? Yeah. How will this help us advance? Unlimited we can build supercomputers that are sucking insane amounts of power from the electrical grid. But we have the power of the sun. In the so we can our build hands. our computers limitlessly big. Now all you have to do is worry about temperature control. Which it'll, pro like it'll probably be like in the Arctic or something. You see what like I'm that. saying? But like at that point, quantum computing will have advanced. So your computers aren't going to be that big. Mm-hmm. You yeah, because they get smaller and smaller right. every year. You know, so it's just like, man, like, where are we really? Mm -hmm. Man, it's so exciting, bro. It's really exciting. But that's a good thing, man. Like I said, that's a good thing. It's really exciting. I don't know, bro. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hyped. Yep. I like this reality. Yep. Not only does crazy reality. shit happen, but exciting new discoveries are happening, too. That's facts. Yeah. That's facts. So what's next? So my man. What's up? That trailer that we watched. What trailer? With Adam Driver. What movie was it? 65. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. Like, I kind of had a feeling. Mm -hmm. Like, I kind of saw him. So I was like, yeah, okay, alien planet, monsters. He's like, yeah, this planet has water. Their carbon levels are high. They are high. I was like, hmm. And it's called 65. And then right before they kind of showed that mm -hmm. little header, I was like, okay. I know where this is this going. Is, I know where this is going. Which is pretty cool. Because technically that is alien world. Yeah. Dinosaurs are aliens we never met. Yep. We shared the same planet. We but just never, never met, met each other. Yep. That's what dinosaurs Thing are. Thing is that that, uh, that ship was going so fast that it went to the past. Could have been because of the fusion reactor. I don't know. That has something to do with the <laughs> speed of light, time, and space. I'll play, Jeff. I'll play. I don't know, man. Yeah. But it vaguely reminded me of, I don't know if you ever played the game Turok. Uh, never played it, but I heard about it. Great game. I hope one day in the future they remake that game. Like remaster like, or like no? Like actually, re like you can still follow the same storyline, but just yeah. like from the ground up. Remake that game. That was a pretty good game. I like that game. Okay. Turok, especially the multiplayer one. I was playing on N sixty four. Damn, it was amazing. Old school, I think old I think that had the needle gun before Halo did. Okay, it was like a. It, it, it reminded me of the needle gun with the heat seekers. Yeah, and stuff like that. Like, oh, I, I know what you're you know talking, what I'm talking about. about. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you could play as the monkey. You, you could, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you basically shoot each other with your special right. weapons. And you just play like 1v1, kind of like, you know, Goldeneye. Yeah. Kind of like Goldeneye, you know what I'm saying? So it's just stuff like that, but yeah, man, that was pretty interesting. Um, so you know how we were hyped up about all of that Black Adam shit and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah? So it turns out that... Um, James Gunn. James Gunn. The new executive producer new executive, of DC. He's scrapping everything. Scrapping the DC EU and he's gonna rebuild it from the ground up. The only thing that sucks is Henry quit The Witcher to do this. To come to that's why you don't quit. That's The Rock's fault. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, but yeah, that's, that's, I love The Rock, that, but that's crazy. That's though. The Rock's fault because they warned him. They told him, "Hey, like." We could be going through some shit right now, like negotiations, yeah. like we might be heading a new direction. So we advise you not to tease Superman or Henry Cavill returning as Superman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it was well recepted, but that wasn't in the original plan. So yeah. once James Gunn took over, he canceled Wonder Woman 3. Uh, Aquaman's doing its last release. Mm -hmm. um, he canceled... Superman. Bat, he canceled Batgirl. Batgirl. All of that. Just yeah. canceled everything because they want to do a, something new. Yeah. They want to do something new instead of trying to rebuild. W when did the DCU start? 2012? Yeah. 10 years? A decade? Because they were worth. trying to rush to catch up to. Yeah. A decade's worth of 
failed films. Failed films, and then mid-level, you know, soon-to-be cult classics, like, eventually. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they weren't good enough for theatrical release, mm-hmm. but, you know, they have that. So, so, the only thing I would suggest to Dwayne is uh, when he does release the movie on Blu-ray and all that, put an alternate ending. Well, it's not even that. Is he even still going to be in the fu- like in James Gunn's plan? Yeah, you know what I'm true. saying? Like, yeah, his company's the one who produced and filmed. But it made a billion Black dollars. Adam. Yeah, that's fine. But who owns the property, the IP? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, if James Gunn wants to do... Like, James Gunn gave, what's his name, his blessing to continue the whole Joker. Which song. is why season For, right. trailer two is coming out. For DC well, Dark. Yeah, yeah, because he's good. Because he wants to, like, he actually likes the idea of the whole DC Dark universe. Which is why Constantine's coming back. Which is Constantine's coming back to come out Joker 2. Um, Robert Pattinson's Batman. Yep, that's also, yep. That's, so they want to kind of have that whole standalone, but DC Dark universe. Universe, Where yeah. they can really delve into more, you know, darker stories within the DC realm. Yeah. You know, and more psychological shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, like, I like that. That's cool. Like, if we can do a standalone thing, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, what are you going to do with Shazam? No, Shazam's still going. Sh- so, but that's not part of his project. How is he going to incorporate that? Because they really haven't done anything with Shazam. Like, really to push the story anyway. Well, the, the film is done. They just moved it to next year. No, Shazam 2. Yeah, yeah, Shazam 2. Yeah, but what does it do to push... Well, well, the the I, the goal because remember at the the at the end of the first movie they introduced that little alien worm caterpillar whatever the mm-hmm. fuck that is so that was a uh, um, predecessor for the third film so they weren't going to introduce they weren't going to introduce that little caterpillar in the second one mm-hmm. the second one was about uh, the gods about uh, them stealing the power of the gods and then mm-hmm. they wanted it back so they wanted to jump into that one and then the final one was going to be when he fight the caterpillar because apparently that's his greatest villain. Not Black Adam. And then, or the third movie was going to be Black Adam. And they just probably scrapped it. But they again, too, it. I don't know where the, what well, Black right. Adam was standalone. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. How did he get the green light to use all the characters and actors and stuff like that? If it wasn't. Because that was before they they hired. Remember, the executives. Right, the executives Because right. the movie was already in production. Yeah, the movie before. was already in production and done. James Gunn was not even considered for it yet. And then the, 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 the transition from WB to Discovery mm-hmm. hadn't happened yet. So all that was already in motion. Right. It's not like it was in motion while he was filming there, like, no, nah, let's scrap it. Because remember, Batgirl was done and, and ready to be re- released. But they're like, no, nah, we're not releasing this garbage. And it's not, and it's not to say that, and it's not to say that the, um, that the act, act actress sucked. It's just that they said the the direction that they were going. It was just bad. It was just bad. It made no sense. Right. It was, it, it, and it's like it was confusing people. Are we using the, uh, are we using the the new Robert Pattinson Batman James? Um, what's his name? Uh, Commissioner Gordon. Or are we using Gordon, the right. the DC EU Commissioner Gordon, the guy that plays J Jonah? J Jonah. Yeah. So it's like. Which one are we doing? And they were talking about, oh, they're going to use the J. Joe and Jameson. So how would that make any sense? That Batgirl's mixed, but mm. her dad is white. But in but Robert Pattinson, he's black. But that's the thing. Robert Pattinson's DC Dark. That has nothing to do with... But that's the, the direction world. they were trying to go, is what oh. I'm trying to say. That's why it was confusing. Because well, they didn't know what they well, were... Well, because they wanted to do the whole Flash thing. I don't know why they were writing this whole universe on Flash's nuts, bro. Like, that blows my mind. Like, how all the continuity and the fact that the progress of this universe hinged on Flash. Flash. Like, just hopping through... But you know why, A though. million different timelines. But, yeah, but that's lame. But like, you know why. He come can on, fuse bro. the yeah, universes that's, together. That's so you, lame. You've heard of Earth Prime. I've seen it too many times. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. I like, think, if that's Flash's only major storyline, and, look, like, they can't move on from that. That's, that's Flash's that's greatest storyline. Yeah, that's sad. And what I'm that's saying sad. is what I'm saying is this. Because when did Crisis come out? When did Crisis happen? Oh, fuck. Okay, Five then. years ago? Okay, then. You're talking about the TV show? Crisis no, the like, the actual comic. Oh, like, 2012. Yeah, like, they've been writing that shit forever. 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 
forever. What? Give them a better storyline. Something. Somebody. I don't know. Like, I'm tired of this whole timeline thing where it's like... I think this is the direction they're going to go. Since they screwed up since 2012 when they released Justice League. Mm-hmm. Um, what they wanted to do with the Flash film is if they can make the Flash film and then Flash fuses the universes together, that was kind of the reboot for it. You see what I'm saying? That's so lame. Really. But It's so lame. Because, Jeff, you got to understand the time we live in. Like, sometimes some stories don't hold up. They don't. Yeah. Sometimes and, you and, just got to let go of them. And here's why I say that. Because timeline bullshit is in every piece of media now. Mm. Like, even in games, everything's multiverse now. Yeah, like the when Batman and... The, everything is multiverse. The so Arkham Knights or something like that. Everything is multiverse. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was stupid. Everything is that multiverse. that game was so bad. Like, it, at, it, we're at a point where now every single... there's. Every single universe, every piece of media is connected somehow. Yeah. In in you know this 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 realm of entertainment or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I'm tired of seeing Flash. It's hard for you to figure out who yeah, what, what I've to seen, follow because yeah. there's so many. I've seen the TV version of it. Mm-hmm. I've seen the animated 80 million versions of the animated version. And then you've seen the I've seen the kids WB version of that. I got you. I've seen the Justice League or Young Justice yes. version of that. It became woke, by it, the way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I've seen so many versions of that. And it's like, oh, you just added a, hell, a whole bunch of money to it. And I think that's why they brought James Gunn into it. Like, see, James Gunn filmed his last movie, Guardians 3, because they said they wouldn't film the last film right. without him. So they went. So he went ahead and did that, and then they're like, "All right, you've done so well in every single film that you've made that we want you to help us. We are asking you for your help because every movie that he's I've ever watched from him has been good. Even the Suicide Squad that people, the first one, Suicide Squad that sucked, mm-hmm. he came out with the Suicide Squad, and it got a ninety-eight. So, which one's part of the timeline now? He separated it. When he when he got when he did the Suicide Squad, the direction that he went, he kinda explained this. He said I it's part of the universe, but I separated I made it its own. Nothing was connected. I didn't bring in Batman like they did in the first Suicide Squad. Right. Showing you was how. that one was PG thirteen, right? Yeah. And then this one was rated R. Yes. So would that be considered D C Dark? I believe so, yes. Okay. Yeah. So because of that, it, th- that's why he said, yeah, it's part of the, that DC universe, but I, I made it its own continuity. Like, no other being exists except for the Suicide Squad villains and, and Amanda Waller. Oh! Yeah, so okay. it was the same. So am- there's no heroes in that world? No, one. zero. It was okay. all them. Nobody came to save them. I feel that. Zero. So that's why that's why I liked it. And then when there was actual consequence to 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 whatever happened, I gotta get that movie. Oh no, I do have it. Uh, but in both versions, someone always tests her, and then she blows their head. Off. Exactly, it's amazing. It is, fun. <laughs> it is amazing. That's amazing. But I think like, James Gunn on, will do. Bro. I think James Gunn will do very well um, now that he's in the helm. Because again, he's 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 just like Kevin Feige at the beginning. Just hopefully it doesn't get to his head because Kevin Feige doesn't even know what direction he's going in now. Because it's like. The entire phase four was garbage. Uh, it was just one big ass garbage. ad. It was one. Big yes, ass it was. That's what I'm saying. Merchandising. That's... Exactly. Oh, here's yeah. a new hero. Let's add him to the roster. Love and Thunder. Whack. It was better than Black Panther. <laughs> Jeff, we gave Black Panther a pass. I already told you that. <laughs> we gave Black. Like, come on, Jeff. Literally, what can I you know. do? I know. What can you do? Not make the that's film a work. rock in a hard place, man. Like, Re- replace him. Love and Thunder had a full cast, yeah, that's true. and didn't have to retcon the script. No, they didn't. Okay, it was garbage, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah I understand it's bad, but it's like, what can yeah. you do? You see what I'm saying? Let me give you a car with three wheels. <laughs> go yeah, ahead, go, go to McDonald's. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, you didn't get you didn't get the McDonald's? Why? Because it has three wheels. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, People are going to be like, no excuse. You should have put the third wheel in the middle. Yeah. (laughs) You should have put some bricks on the... on. on, on, 
<laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, oh my god. Balance it out, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you. Shift the weight towards one side. Right? <laughs> Get a big person to sit on one sit side on one so side. we can hover. Yeah, well, oh, dude, that'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> oh shit, that'd be different. But like I said, we'll see. We'll see what he does. It's gonna be. It's gonna be completely different. Um, uh, and then of course, uh, Avatar comes out tomorrow. Because uh, today's Thursday, right? Yeah, Thursday mm-hmm. the fifteenth. Avatar comes out tomorrow. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of interesting things. When even, do you want to see it? Um, yeah, yeah. We'll do next week. Uh, after I help mom. Well, after we take Bruce, to the, Bruce vet, to the vet. Bruce to the vet. Help mom with her couches. And then we can go watch the movie, um, cause but it's three hours, so yeah. Make that's sure. James Cameron for you, and that's only part one, about part two of three and four. <laughs> What's the fourth one gonna be? Save the atmosphere. I don't know. Save, save the, the mountains. Hey, first one was save the forest. Second one is save the oceans. Save the animals. I don't know, because um, what did he do? He filmed it back to back, which is why it was three billion dollars to film. They gave him three billion dollars to film the movies back to back, to back. So it's like one filming, about a year and a half of filming is what um the is what the the Zoe Salamander is that her name? Zoe. She plays go. She plays Gamora. Zoe Salamander. Whatever. So it's she's like it was a year and a half of filming. Because they had to film each movie back to back to back, and then he just split it. So the fir- the second film is three hours long. Wow! Imagine the third and the fourth film. Wait, there's gonna be four. Yes, he filmed it back to back to back. <laughs> so it's one continuous shot. Yes. He just split it, because remember he already named the movies. So this is like the Snyder cut. Uh, Snyder cut. He never made it. He had to call recast everybody and refilm it. Oh, he never finished. But that's what Snyder was going for. Exactly. Right. That's what he wanted to tell. Kind of like on some uh, Hobbit shit. Exactly. How literally the the first movie, the second movie starts exactly where the first movie ends. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like you just do one long continuous shot. So Avatar f- f- uh, 3 comes out December 3rd, 2024. 20th? Or, or December 20th, 2024. So it's done it's just if new technology comes out, which they're always saying. That's crazy. Why is it such a, why such a cut down from one, two, and three? I don't know. That's wild. Why did it take you so long to make number two? I don't know. That's wild to me. Why did he take so long for that? Technology. He said he wanted the but best. But he did good enough with the first one. But that's the thing. He said he wanted the best technology, and if new technology came out, he would grab the new technology and use it again. And then when the executives at Warner Brothers says, you need to cut down your film, he looked at them like, bitch, I ain't cutting down nothing. I'm James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm James Cameron, bitch. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, so um, that's going to be interesting. I want to see. I want to see that film. Jeff, what's up? Are you ready for the wedding? It's not a wedding. Are you ready for the bachelor party? It's not a bachelor party. Are you ready for the eulogy? It's not. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. What is it? What is it? Engagement. You what? Oh, my God. It's an engagement party, Jeff. Oh shit! This man said everything under the sun, right? But Except the right for answer. but the right answer. <laughs> you ready? Did you find what you're looking for? Yep, I completed the set. I completed the set. Got some nice sneaks though to go with the suit. It's you all should. White. You should have took. You should have took some pictures, man. It's I wanted white, to see it. Yeah. I'll take a picture Saturday. I know. I said the same thing to Caleb too. I'll you white? Uh, you wrote your speech. Speech. You're not speeching. Bro, I'm just going to talk. Yeah, you wrote your speech? Speech. Oh, you're just going to... I'm literally just going to talk. Okay, about what? Whatever I want. (laughs) (laughs) What the hell? What the hell? Whatever I want. Mystery. (laughs) What? Whatever I want. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. What the hell? (laughs) 
I'm going to talk about whatever I want. Uh, I'm man. the host. Right? He's like, I was like, so what do you want me to do, Jeff? I mean, Jeff. Wow. You are Jeff. I am. Yeah. I was like, so what do you want me to do, Fadner? He's like, do what you do best. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> you got to uh, deal. Shit. Everybody going to look at you like, bro, you are you deal. done yet? We trying deal. to dance. They be like, yo, shut up, bro. Hey, this, oh, brother, hey, this guy this stinks. <laughs> They're going to be like, the glue's getting cold. <laughs> Bro, Hurry up. going to be getting cold. I'm going to be talking about quantum physics and <laughs> shit like that, giving motherfuckers a lesson on a whiteboard and shit. Showing them is, how a singularity works. Is that what she told you? Get a whiteboard. What the fuck? <laughs> We're going to school today. They're going to be like, what happened in World War II? Oh, bro. Jeff going to give a history Doing lesson. Questionnaires. Absolutely. Oh We're going to be dissecting God. cadavers. It's oh, my God. <laughs> Feather's going to be like, Jeff, never again. Never again. <laughs> when I have my first child. You're uninvited. <laughs> <laughs> You're uninvited from everything. Oh, my God. From the rest, oh for the rest my of my God. life. Oh. You're uninvited. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's what the crowd's gonna say after oh, you're done with your Yay! speech. They're gonna be cheering, bro. Oh my god. They're gonna be cheering. <gasps> you're making me cry. <laughs> oh man. That's amazing. <laughs> oh man, when is it? It's amazing. Saturday. At what time? Well, I'm gonna be there at five. I'm gonna be earlier just to kind of. See the venue. You know how Haitians are, man. Scope it out. We show up three hours late. Bruh, that's what the planner uh, told me. He's like, well, it starts at 6, but it might start at 6.45. And I was <laughs> like, don't even worry about it. I understand. Yep. I was like, I understand. But she's like, if it starts early, great, you know. But it's not going to start early. They should have said 5 o'clock, but it's actually starting at 6. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I, I appreciate, you know. The, the yeah, for sure, man. You know everybody Absolutely. loves you. Don't say that. Yeah, everybody loves no, you. No, don't do that. Right, mommy? Yeah. Yep. Don't do that. Everybody loves you. Stop lying, man. Don't do that. What happened on your delivery package? Don't do that. Delivery packaging of deliveries. Don't do Come that. Come on, Jeff. That's not how that works. Come on, let's tell me a story, Jeff. I don't want to tell you a story. Come I on. hate I hate talking about that. Come on, Jeff. Tell me a story. About it's okay. No, I really don't. When you're se- really when don't. you're a sexy chocolate man, stop. that's why. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. Nope. Stop. Nope. Stop. Nope. Stop. Nope. Stop. Nope. Stop. Nope. Please. Nope. Stop. You, stop pushing the button. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> We're going to stop that right now. <laughs> it's time to stop. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not your fault you look it's delicious. Nope. Time <laughs> nope. To stop. Nope. It's nope. time nope. to nope. stop. Stop so, it. Like, okay. just okay. stop All right. It. All right. I probably, stop it. I was that. Stop it. Stop pushing the butt. Just stop. We have our listeners right now. Stop. Okay. It's time to stop. <laughs> We're not getting into that. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, no, no sir. Man. Mommy, get your son. This is my dojo. I reject the no. bad energy. No. <gasps> You're killing me, man. Oh, shit. I reject it all. You ready for the holidays? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. This is going to be nice. What are we doing? Bumming. My favorite thing. Yes. To do in the world. Exactly. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh thing. man! I'll just enjoy it like any other day, and appreciate the fact that it is another day. Exactly. Thank you, Christmas. Yes. You give me life. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody can celebrate. Oh, you yeah. give me life. Yep, they can't celebrate my birthday. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Put it down. Yay! Exactly. Cool. Put it down. That's the one great thing, especially going through school. Where you see every all the kids on their birthday, yeah, the class celebrate. I'm like, bro, I don't want none of y'all celebrate my exactly. birthday. Exactly, it don't mean none. Okay, yeah. I mean it means something, but yeah, you know, not to you. You just want free cake. Yeah, you just want my cake. As long as it's not chocolate. Well, mom doesn't get cheesecake anymore, so hopefully we can get cake for you this Easter. So I can eat some. 
Damn. Mm-hmm. We'll try. That's the only reason why I use you, Jeff, for a cake. For a cake? Yes. <laughs> That's your sole purpose. Diabetes is my, is my sole friend. Purpose to grant you access to free cake. <laughs> That's amazing. <Yeah. laughs> I have an excuse to eat cake. Oh, man. I'm dead. So I'm the gatekeeper to your cake. Yes. That's wild. I'm just counting down the days. Wait, pause. That sounded pretty sus. <laughs> I'm the gatekeeper to your cake. <laughs> <laughs> you protect my cake, Jeff. That's good. I protect Jeff's cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my oh shit. That's so dumb. Oh, shit. That's so dumb. Damn. It's telling me I still have moves. Yeah? Ooh, Where are we at? We're at 47. 47, yeah. 47. Boy, you better keep flapping them gums, bro. This a marathon. You know what that, <laughs> this a marathon. You better think of something. Right? Let's talk about the air quality. <laughs> Let's talk about you still not moving in. <laughs> bro, man, I told you. You, you, you had three days. <laughs> Three days to make this potato no, salad. I had to focus <laughs> Three on days. getting my. <laughs> I've never seen a man take so long to move in before. <laughs> and he gets three days off every week. Back to back. <laughs> Just like when I move into my new house, Jeff's going to do all the work. <laughs> oh, man. Well, here's the thing. Oh, man. You won't have to do any work because I ain't finna do nothing to uh, make you do work. You cra- you killing me, man. The thing about doing work, Jeff, you create the work Jeff, that you do. Jeff, the only thing you moved in here was your PlayStation. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking facts. You damn right. That's, fuck, that's the most important thing. I'll be homeless with a PlayStation. Stop playing. I'll plug it into the dirt. What the hell? I'll be homeless with a PlayStation. I buy a gym membership and play that bitch on the membership screen. Oh my bro. god! Oh my god! Play that shit on Jeff, the treadmill TV. Oh, what shit. the heck? You're killing me, man. I got it all figured out. Watch me end up homeless, but I have a gym membership, free showers, bitch, <laughs> and I'll be in shape. I'll be the swollest homeless motherfucker you ever been in your life. Oh my god! Free soap and. Shampoo with uh, with lotion. Absolutely. You killed me, man. That'd be amazing. Oh my god. Twenty four hour gym access card. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, It'll never, never give me. So, what's your New Year's resolution, man? What, what's what's your what's your plan? What do you what do you are you gonna set any goals for twenty twenty three or are you just gonna kind of go with the flow? Like what? Like what? What do you want to accomplish? Even if it doesn't happen, you're still gonna strive for it. Yes, but what would you like to accomplish next year? What I like to accomplish next year, um, I want to be at a point where I can dedicate more time to this pod and doing what the fuck I want. And to do that, I need to start investing more in myself, financially and stuff. Gotcha. So, I have the income, and I have. The ability to do so mm-hmm. and have peers and information and access to information and we're but, uh, st- we're still networking a lot and meet yeah. a lot of new people and network yeah network that, a lot that, more that's that's crazy because trying to find more opportunities to talk openly speak mm-hmm. you know because you ever think about doing a um like when there's something, you know how when um, certain YouTubers have something on their mind, they just open up the camera and just have a conversation. Like sometimes with when Abba has something on his head, Preach doesn't have to be there. He'll just open up the open up the camera and have a conversation up to his Ooh. audience, to his audience for about 15, 20, 30 minutes, just his experience or something that he's gone mm-hmm. through. Um, like he's done several videos on that without Preach. I want to I want to do this a little bit more before I start getting that personal. Uh, okay, you know that's what, what you're saying. saying. So, yeah, because we've only been doing this for what eight, nine months, right? <clears throat> like, yeah, eventually, yeah, everyone's gonna know everything about me, of course. To be honest, personal experience, life experience, mm-hmm. uh, things, da- daily quotes, things if you've gone through, mm-hmm. experiences, friendships, heartaches, all that stuff like that. Yep, 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 yep. Why you were such a bad child? I'm joking. 
But what the hell? I was a badass kid. <laughs> what the heck? I was a really badass kid. Yeah. One day I'll tell you about the machete story. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was crazy. That was I fun. think about it, and it's like, how are you not in jail? That's crazy. How are we all still alive? Man, it's crazy. Yeah, but soon to come. Yeah. So that that's so that's how you want to sum it up. Uh yeah, but I just wanna. I don't know, man. Like I know what I want to do. Mm-hmm. I just got to do what I got to do to get there. To get there. Yeah. You know. Hard work. And if I get there sooner than later, even better. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. And like you said, one of the steps is like we already put down for the satellite. Yeah, once we get that internet, that, bro. That Starlink, and then we can go live, and then we'll go from there. I just want that damn Starlink. Yeah. He tripping. Come on, Elon. Don't make me at you on Twitter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he bans my account. Yeah. Deletes my whole uh, shit. shit. And takes us off the waiting list for Starlink. Right. You're blacklisted. Yeah. <laughs> no races. Here's, no, here's your $99 back. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm waiting for. So as soon as that happens, like we get it hooked up, cancel this internet, and then we can go live, upload faster, get games, all that stuff like that. So we won't have any issues. On top of that, we got a Wi-Fi booster. So in areas... Oh, uh, spread yeah, spread the Wi-Fi. Yeah, spread the Wi-Fi because, you know, some corners of the house. Well, are... the router is literally just going to be right there in the center of the Of house. course. But it'll, it'll kind of... But you still got to be careful because the last one that you had... had yeah, that one I, yeah, that one I, I made sure it was official. So. That shit had a Yeah, that was just a plug in the wall. That was literally just a plug in the wall. Motherfuckers was hacking your old shit. Yep. That was crazy. Yeah. So that, that was, was literally crazy. just a plug in the wall. But this one is... This one is... Uh, it has an access. Good thing none of your cameras were connected to that because if they access the, the devices that were on the network, they could tap into them. Yeah, that's true. And they could literally just spy on yeah, you, know, you gotta be careful, man. Yep. Gotta have that uh 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 technological not etiquette awareness. but safety, yeah. Awareness and safety, yeah. Well yeah. What about you, man? What me? you got planned for next year? Right now? Um, I wanna uh cause y- you know me, I'm a people person. So I want to see if I can network even more, connect with more people, see if I can get uh, different types of people on the pod. I want this to blow up, of course, uh, upgrade our equipment, because uh, eventually, like I said, the goal is to leave, leave my job and uh, make this a full, not a full, not a job, but an enjoyment. You see what I'm saying? So like you said, with money comes time. I don't look at or freedom. Or is it more time or more freedom? Or is it both? Work. Plus time equals money it, equals freedom. freedom. Exactly. So my goal is to is, is to be uh, financially free, um, have several incomes. Of course, you know you've helped me invest in several uh, different things. So I'm focusing on that, and then whatever I I've worked on at the job, I will bring it here and just focus on it, man. Because like I said, I want to enjoy my freedom i want to be able to chill with you i want to do nothing nothing mom <laughs> well like i like, remember when we used to go to the gym right yeah i would like to do that again that's with you. doing nothing yeah. absolutely but that's what you see what i'm saying so i, I would like to do that with you again because uh it, it was fun when we did it mm-hmm. and um just to be able to go out to eat without having to say oh we got to get home because we got to work tomorrow or our work schedule doesn't go over we see a movie or if you're like jeff let's travel to california just to go see this thing we can go do it or set up interviews in different places. Azores, that's still the goal. So it's like financial freedom, helping mom, um, do just doing things like just re- enjoying my life. Word. So um, my my twenty twenty three goal is to literally um, make sure and try to get this to blow up off the ground, off the ground, and then and then bring everybody that's helped us along with it david kayla um um it just everybody everybody um, it's a list michael yeah it, it's everybody that we've invited on here shemeca yeah. yeah every i mean yeah. you know what i'm saying so it's like um zoe i mean is everybody that's gotten us to where we're at now that that's allowed us to 
listen to their story and understand Thanks. where they're coming from. And then, of course, yeah. that message spread. This is a solid year. It is a I solid like year. I like, and like how I said, we started off. Exactly. And then it, it's crazy, too, because when we were showing mom um, how many countries we reach, and it's at three, I'm like, damn, that's amazing. 4,500 hours of, of recording of time. Of recorded time. Of recorded time. And then, of course, um, one of the top 25 podcasts around the world. So it's like nobody we're still small nobody really knows who we are but we're still being listened to and then there and then if, from what the analytics was saying is whoever listens to our show automatically subscribes or tells somebody else about it so they can listen to it because even from belgium when we had that one person that listened every day then it jumped to 40 they do care. yeah 45 in one day so it's like and we, we're still humble and, and we remain humble and we're going to continue to be humble because we know where we came from and and we're not going to let that fame and fortune go to our heads. And I remember we had that conversation where you're like, well, how do you know it won't? Sure. So it's like... Um, Once it's in front of your face. Exactly. Yeah, you got a game plan. Yeah, as long as you have a game plan, you should yeah, be Yeah, but fine. that's the thing. You're like, come on, Mike Tyson. Come on, Jeff. Everyone got a plan until they get punched. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I dropped a million dollars in front of your face right now. I'd invest it. How? Cryptos. But uh, that's the thing. Apartments. Uh, car rentals. Are you going to do all that by yourself? No. I'm going to get a network team of team, uh, team of people. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'll never do anything by myself. I'd always involve you. I'd always involve mom. I'd always involve people that are good, like K- uh, Caleb, CPA, um, David, um everybody like i'd get a network of people to help me especially a manager because because i know every every person that has a podcast has a manager that helps them um set up meetings get interviews all that stuff you know and it's not something that the goal is we're doing it by ourselves because we it's just us mm-hmm. you see we're not known so when we do get there then it, that's a different story right so but yeah that's my goal man i just uh, 2020, we started a- April 27th of this year. I believe so. And then now the next year will be fresh start January. So we literally have an entire year to just focus on our craft, get better, uh, network some more, find more people, um, have more conversations, just get different perspectives, different stories. Like, again, we've interviewed so many different people that come from so many different backgrounds. It's so crazy how everybody's experience is so different. From musician to gang members to pastors to um, relationship advice to uh, abuse, all that stuff. It, it, it's it's just amazing. So it's like I want to continue to do that because it'll never get old. There's always a difference. That's reality. Yeah, That's ex- the human exactly, experience. Exactly. Exactly. And what is our goal? What is our goal, Joe? For humanity to have an open mind. Mm-hmm we are not all the same we're all different and for everybody if for certain people to say we need to think like you that's not realistic it's not exactly so that's that that's what i want my goal to be next year like to to help uh, again for us to get there so we can help everybody else that's that is uh that helped us get there too like that's facts yeah so I really cannot Respect. I really cannot wait for next year. Next year I feel like a lot of good things are gonna happen. Like you said, especially with the whole fusion thing. I got a good circle for for this. Yes. Like they really, they they're really still motivated. with you. Yeah. That's the insane part. Since you were That's at Publix, the, yeah. they've still been with you. They they, they all live in different yeah. corners of the world, but they're still with you. Everything I say, everything I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's see it. Even even mom, when we said Jeff, we we're gonna start a podcast. All right, get the equipment, get the stuff, stop wasting time, do this. She's the one that got on her yeah, ass. She got, She's yeah. like, "What are you guys doing? Are you gonna start this or not?" Blah blah blah. This and that. And I'm like, "Yeah, we got to. Yeah, we got to." And we did. And look where we're at. That's thanks. That's thanks. Yeah, so we're gonna continue. That's thanks. I love that. That yeah. was amazing. That was beautiful. Oh, thank you, sir. It literally just it just started flowing as soon as I started talking. No, so that was beautiful, man. Oh, thank you. I you deserve it. to be a member of the Empire. Lead us into the future.
we are one and all the empire no one can rival us it is only us one nation under god <laughs> we are one and there is no other the empire <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're all gonna right, end, we're gonna end it take right us here home. take us home. all right guys thank you for joining us at the tabletop if you want to catch us on tuesdays and thursdays we are on spotify apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, deezer tune in iheart radio and amazon music and if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we are on YouTube, One Word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips and TikTok channel. <laughs> A Triple T Clips. and Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> and our TikTok channel. Uh, if you want to check out our clips and you like them, go ahead and click on the link over to our YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out our things. And don't forget, guys. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so we can get into that algorithm so we can get more of this awesome content to you guys. But thank you for joining us at the tabletop. You guys have a good day, night, weekend, and or evening. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.